Now between 2000 and 2010, almost all mid-size sedans got a 1.8 litre four-cylinder engine. Corollas, Civics, Octavias, Loras, whatever you want, almost all of them had a 1.8 litre engine. And this looks like a mundane old 2004 Toyota Corolla, but it packs quite the punch. It has almost over 200 horsepower and it's turbocharged. So I'm going to tell you all about this beast today. Now let's not waste too much time and directly hop into the engine because let's be honest there's nothing really that great to talk about on the outside of the Corolla but once you open up this hood well it's quite the build as you can see so th all of this has been done mainly at uh, KS Motorsports and well it makes over 200 horsepower it's a stock block so nothing forged or nothing billet or anything like that uh, it has a GT25 uh, turbo it has a stage 2 cams it has a 3 inch downpipe and a full exhaust system a borla uh, muffler uh, it has a teal uh, BOV exhaust manifold made out of cast iron and a lot of other goodies uh, installed on it if you want to see all of that I'll just put a, a text over here to see what all has been done but yeah this thing makes tons of power for a Corolla stock the engine used to make 125 horsepower and 158 newton meters of torque and now this thing at Karan Shah's uh, dyno made 208 wheel horsepower which is basically around 250 bhp which is very impressive for a car that's made in 2004 and it's basically a normal sedan for the family, I mean, that's astonishing. But the best part about this build is that it looks absolutely stock. There is nothing uh, aftermarket on this car. I mean, everything is basically stock OEM Toyota parts. Even the wheels are stock, the bumpers are stock, everything is stock. So it's a very unassuming build. If you're going to be at the lights with this thing and you're trying to race it, this thing will definitely smoke you because it has 208 wheel horsepower, like I said, and it looks like any other Corolla on the road. The owner had done a paint job in the past and the stance is a little bit staggered so uh, up in front you do have lowering springs but the back doesn't have lowering springs because the car used to scrape a lot and this was a daily driver for him so yeah a little bit more practical and even the exhaust it's not poking out out of the bumper or anything like that it's pointed downwards and it looks absolutely stock so let's hop into the car before we take it out for a drive now hopping into the interior just like the outside, it looks pretty much stock. But once you start giving your attention to all of the details that are inside, then you'll start to understand that this has something underneath the hood. Well, first of all, you have this uh, AM uh, Boost PSI meter over here. You have a HKS Turbo Timer over here. And if you open up the glove box, you have an AM standalone ECU because of course, this thing has a turbocharger. The stock engine never came with a turbocharger in any other model or variant or anything like that. So basically the stock ECU doesn't know what a turbocharger is. That's why you need the standalone ECU. And well, let's stop flapping about here and there. Crank the key and let's go out for a quick drive. That sounds good. So driving the Turbo Corolla on the road, let's just do a quick little first gear pull. The wheel spin and the way it just talks to us, I mean it's mad. It's too much power for the front wheel for this car. But it's a very fun car to drive and the noise that it makes, it's mad. It sounds like a Lancer Evo. And it's not the easiest car to drive. The clutch is a little weird, the throttle pedal is a little weird. This stick shift over here is not the smoothest transmission around. But I love it because it's a very raw driving experience. You have to really thrash it around just to get something out of it 
because it has quite a lot of turbo lag i was not expecting it but it adds to the drama and the excitement after 3000 rpm bloody hell that is fast for a corolla that is fast and the best part is it feels stock i mean in a weird way it feels stock it feels like the car was meant to do it of course the noise and everything adds to the fact that you know it's not stock but if probably you know you add a more chilled out tune if you add a little bit of a quieter exhaust i would say that this is a stock car with just a weird clutch and a throttle pedal but this isn't the easiest of builds to do because first of all the owner had to do a lot of r&d to make sure that this thing is actually viable to do in india because not a lot of people specialize in this kind of stuff he stumbled across ks motorsport and the tuner of this car whose name is zaki and basically those two guys are the masterminds behind this build and they have been basically the guys who have made this thing uh, possible and drivable today and well the owner faced a lot of reliability issues when he was initially building the car back 3 4 5 years ago and the main problem was the intake manifold of the car so he had gotten an intake manifold locally built over here in mumbai but that intake manifold although it was making more power at the time 15 horsepower i think so more than what it is making currently that intake manifold wasn't made out of the best material so the problem was it used to crack every once a while so he's gone through at least 3 to 4 intake manifolds and well after one point you're just like chuck this i want something that's reliable that i don't have to always send to the shops so he ordered a cast iron intake manifold all the way from the us and once that has come well the car has been more or less pretty good to drive and pretty reliable since this is an engine that doesn't know what a turbo is like i said it does have some sort of issues here and there from time to time but still it's a toyota so most of the parts are not that expensive and the engine itself is very 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 strong so it's not going to blow up or something like that until and unless you do something absolutely stupid and to prove that this thing is a pretty reliable build well this thing has done 158000 kilometers if that doesn't scream reliable and daily drivable well i don't know what will is it something that you can drive daily well it is a little bit intense over here you have to know what you're doing while driving this car not the easiest thing to drive here and there but i'm pretty sure you'll get used to it pretty quickly the funniest part is that i have a steering wheel which looks something out of an innova and once i press my right foot all the way down i have a turbo whistling with 208 wheel horsepower and that blow off valve and the other cool thing that i like about this car is that it doesn't really have a purpose if you know what i mean the owner has done it because he could and that's the cool thing because it's not a car that's meant for the track or it's not a car that's meant for drag racing or anything of that sort it's just a fun cool street build which the owner has done and i appreciate that fact because it's not trying to prove anything because one more pull <laughs> it's not trying to prove anything this car because it technically if the owner has taken it to the valley run it goes against cars like uh, the lora 1.8 tsi basically my car it's going against lora 1.8 tsi and even he agrees that those cars definitely more potent in terms of just making power and getting out the numbers that you really want but i mean a lora is a lora i mean it's pretty common nowadays to see a stage 2 car stage 2 lora in fact and this is something that you will definitely not see every day a turbocharged 1.8 corolla so in that sense it's a very unique build and like i said you need to know people who can actually handle this sort of a project because it is a bloody bloody task to make something like this the plumbing the hard work the tuning to make sure that the standalone ecu knows what you're doing well it's a pretty long and tedious task to make this thing work but once it's done it's something very unique and very special this toyota corolla is definitely one of the most unique builds we have ever seen i mean you have to be a complete madman to even think about doing something like this in india and the fact that it works and it can actually perform as well is really impressive 
208 wheel horsepower from a car which is not supposed to be turbocharged is quite the feat, especially in a country like India where the resources for such things is quite sparse. So hats off to the owner, to KS Motorsports and to the tuner. This is definitely one of those unicorns which will be rarely seen on the road and which will probably never be done again. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do check out TDH Classifieds to buy and sell cool tuner cars to other enthusiasts in India. Subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram and I'll see you in the next one.